A retail company wants to improve the performance of their global e-commerce application, and the application serves dynamic product pages from EC2 instances running in US East 1, and it has static assets such as images, CSS, JavaScript files that are stored in an Amazon S3 bucket. So which two services should the solutions architect implement to reduce latency for users located around the world? So let's identify the key hints. One, global users. So we need worldwide latency reduction. Two, dynamic content from EC2, which can't be cached easily. Three, static assets from S3. And these images, CSS files, JS, these are very cacheable. So let's look at the options. Option one, deploy Amazon CloudFront with S3 buckets and an application load balancer as the origins. Option two, implement Amazon ElastiCache to cache frequently accessed database queries. Option three, enable S3 transfer acceleration for the bucket containing static access. Option four, configure AWS Global Accelerator with endpoints pointing to the application load balancer. And then option five, deploy additional EC2 instances in multiple AWS regions and use Route 53 latency-based routing. Drop your answers in the comments below. So our hints are global users, dynamic content, and static content. We need solutions for both, all of it. So ElastiCache will improve database performance, but doesn't really help with global delivery. S3 transfer acceleration speeds up uploads and downloads to S3 directly, but for serving web content to browsers, CloudFront is the right service. EC2 in multiple regions works, but it's expensive and complex to manage. So the correct answers are CloudFront and Global Accelerator. So CloudFront will actually cache static content at 700 edge locations. It matches the static asset sent and users get images from the nearest edge available globally. Global Accelerator routes traffic over AWS's private network. It matches the dynamic content hint, and it's a faster path to EC2 without caching. So just as also a specific exam tip, S3 is not actually a valid Global Accelerator endpoint. Only uh, ALBs, NLBs, EC2, and Elastic IPs will work as a targeted endpoint for Global Accelerator. So just wanted you to know.